Let us know when we on. Hangout is on fire. Are we live? I think we are. I think we are. I am live. How do I know this? Uh, if I go to this, would that tell me? I am on fire. I am alive. Right. Hi, everyone. Uh, let me know who is here, because in this video, we are going to be talking about this very simple thing, how to tie a tie. The easiest way to do it, the easiest way to tie a tie. And I showed this to someone recently, and they've been blown away. They they could not understand why they were sort of tying a their tie different way all those years. Hello, Spencer. How are you doing? Who else is in the house? I'm going to show you the best way to tie a necktie today. And if you sort of going to like this video and like this format, then no doubt we're going to be doing a lot more how to tie bow tie, how to follow pocket square, how to do it like the pros doing it. So if you are interested in that, let me know in the comments below. Spencer, quick hellos to people. Spencer is the only um, person who's right now um, courageous enough to say hi. Uh, doing fine. Is that a thermal elastic shirt you're wearing? No, it's actually my men's finest is my brand. And you know this because I also make ties. So this is my tie as well. So the company is called Men's Finest. We're making shirts and ties and bow ties and pocket squares and everything else. So I've actually made this uh, for me. This is my mate to measure shirt. Spencer, is that is that where you're buying from? Um, Turbo and Asa, is that is that your favorite company? Let me know. Let me know. Okay, listen up. This is going to be very quick. Um, video about how to tie a necktie. So you may or may not like the one that I've got uh, tied in here. Um, you know, pretty simple knot. You can probably do it, um, you know, in less than 10 seconds if you want. But if you had this sort of tie, this is a normal tie. It's probably longer than usual. Um, this is uh, men's finest tie, so we make it. So I'm around 193, uh, six foot two. And if you see where the tie ends, it ends around here, which is 165, 169, um, and that's how long it is. So um, we prefer longer ties anyhow because it's easier to tie them. So, uh, so bear that in mind. Uh, so that's first of all. Second of all, we prefer ties that are slightly thicker. So if you look at the normal tie, uh, this tie is slightly thicker. So so the inside of that tie are actually um, um, sort of bulkier and nicer. And it's all uh, organic fabric that we use. And it's made in the UK. The fabric is Italian fabric. So the weight of that tie is going to make it so it's um, sort of nicely um, sort of slimming down as opposed to just moving all over the place, right? So, um, how do I tie a tie? Normally, people just do that around there, and they have to have a mirror in order to get there where they want to be, right? I figure out a better way. And the better way for me is to, first of all, you know, on the tie, it has, to, it has like two parts to it, right? So, those two parts have to be sewn together at some point. And... Where are they sewn together? You can see, for instance, here, right? You can see the seam there. So that's one seam. And another one is there. So there are two seams that basically um, kind of link those two ties together, link those two pieces of fabric together. And I always start by finding them. So whatever tie I'm tying, I'm always uh, sort of trying to find them uh, because they're always there, unless it's like a sevenfold that is just men made one of one big fabric. Let's not go into that. So once I find them, I keep hold of them like that, right? And then instead of just putting them around my neck, what I'm doing is I'm actually keeping, keeping them up in the air. And you'll see, so I'll, I'll, I'll sort of turn around so you can see better. Um, 
what I'm doing is is I'm doing sort of normal Windsor, and you can see that's one um, uh, sort of seam. That's the other seam as well, right? So this is what I'm doing. I'm going one seam across the other, and I'm just simply going over, across, and through, right? So I'm not tying this tie. I'm just checking for length. So look what I've done right now. I've I've nearly tied a tie, but I didn't because all I did was simply going. So that's one seam. That's the other. I was going around and then through. And then I normally would go through uh, if I want to tie a tie, but I didn't. I didn't do that yet. I just kept it like that, right? So it's uh, sort of nice and um, and I can measure it. So then what I'm doing is I'm trying for the length here. So I'm trying to see how long this would be for. So I don't know whether you can see me, but this most likely is the correct length for this tie for me. So what I can do now is, of course, instead of just do like a like a like a dummy one that I didn't go through right now. I can go through that loop that I created previously, and sort of and sort of create a knot, right? So now I am creating a nice knot, right? So now you can see that the knot very sort of inefficiently right now has been created. So it's there and it's um, and it's sort of present, right? Can you see this? Okay, so this is the knot, right? Now I can check it again whether that's the correct length. You know, it should finish at the waist. It's finishing just uh, below the waist. So I think what I'm going to do is actually make it shorter. So now I am actually undoing that knot. Still keeping everything quite tight, right? So not undoing it completely, but just undoing that knot, right? So like undoing the work that I've done, because remember that I've done it on the seam. So the seam was the, uh, the point where I was starting from, so I know where I was, right? So what I'm going to do is I want to make it shorter. So I need this, this part to go slightly higher, not by much just a bit, right? So again, I'm going there, across, like this, up, and through, right? So now I know, I've maybe shortened it by, you know, a couple of centimeters, maybe an inch, right? So again, I'm making that knot, right? Now I wanna check where I am in terms of length. Okay, so now it's slightly shorter, so exactly where I want to be, right? So what I could do is start to make that knot tighter. So I'm pulling all sorts of things. Pull it down, pull it to the left, to the right, make it a nice knot. Never forget about that dimple here, guys. Never forget about that. Um, it's a it's it's half wind, so yeah. They call it also something else in Italy in Italy because it's just the simple simplest knot ever, right? And all of a sudden I'm pulling them on all sorts, and look what I've got a nice little knot. So let me just undo that one. So I've undo that one. And I'm, and I'm going to put this one on. So now I don't need a mirror because the whole point is that you can tie that knot uh, anywhere you are, actually, without a mirror. And that's, and that's the key here, guys. If you can make a knot and you don't need a mirror, you are a winner, right? Then you're doing that then all you're doing is making sure this stays nice and up. And I don't really need a mirror, right? I can also pull it slightly down just to create that 
nice little look. I've got a dimple. I can feel it. I can now obviously check to the mirror, but I but I'll be quite confident to just to put a jacket on and go, right? I mean, is that awesome or something? That is amazing, right? And then what do you do with the short end? You can actually sort of leave it hanging out. What I what I prefer and what I like doing is that the short end actually sticks out. So I, I like when the tie is finished like this, where the shorter end actually sticks out from the 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 bigger blend bigger blend <laughs> bigger blade so that's the high the big big blade this is a small blade and i like that when the small blade kind of comes out to the side from it i think it's just neat it makes the tie sort of bigger as well um what do you do with the end well this is probably sticking out too much so i would do uh i could do two things either put it in my pants and it's going to look okay or I can redo that knot and maybe sort of move it slightly um, smaller. So move it slightly down. So this getting smaller in comparison to this just by, you know, maybe half an inch. Because maybe I've just pulled it an inch difference. Maybe I, I just should have done it by half of an inch and just redo, redo, redo. Before you know, actually, you're going to know exactly how your ties work. Uh, and you would know exactly how to tie them so they always look awesome, right? So this, guys, is the easiest way to tie a necktie. Uh, if you've got any questions, let me know in the comments below. If you want to comment on my tie, let me know as well. And I and I can see that in the in the video recording here that I haven't got any shared um, sort of collar stays here. And it's kind of flipping me out here because it, it, you know, that collar is kind of bends. I don't like that. Always wear those. Always wear them, you know, in a shirt. They look, they look a lot better. But I forgot to put them. That's all. Uh, Spencer is saying, "Is have wins?" So yes, looking styling and profiling. Thank you. Noah is saying, "What do you think of the brand Cesare Antonelli and Keaton?" I don't know Cesare. I know Keaton. Keaton is good, uh, amazing brand with a huge heritage. Obviously, it's a brand that's been there, been out there forever. Um, I like their ties. Um, are they into shirts right now? Uh, and also like trousers, chinos. I've seen. Is that is that correct? But yes, Keaton is of course uh, the, the the standard. I mean, what you have to figure out, I guess, with ties is two things. One is fabric. And the other thing that you have to figure out is, is the drape. So how it's going to look when they sit on you. Are they going to sit nice and flat? Are they going to sit sort of nicely um, towards the towards the end so they're not going to be wrinkly and, um, and, and kind of all over the place? So they have to be nice and sort of flat. That's what you want with your tie. And then brand is just who you, um, who you believe in, you know, and, and obviously we making them um, so if you believe in us, you go and buy from us. If you don't believe in us, you buy from somewhere else. But we making those ties here in England from Italian fabric. So that's all it is. Which is the best color for men's round face? Um, you see, I'm not, I was never like that. I know people like those videos. Which glasses are best for the round face? Which color is best for... Uh, you know, guy with pimples, or like, wear what's best for you. Like, wear what, what do you feel confident in? For instance, if I, if I like this shirt, and it fits me well, and I feel confident, and I stand upright, and I'm uh, sort of joking and fun, and you know, and, and sort of creating the atmosphere, and I'm like cool around because I've got this awesome made-to-measure shirt with monograms on, and, and you know, my company name, and this and that. All of a sudden, I'm, I'm like, okay, you know, what about stripes? Do they suit me? Uh, you know, what about that color? contrasting color in comparison to my stripes 
you know, do they suit me? Have I got, have I got round face? Have I got square face? Have I got big nose? Have I got pointy ears? Like, why would that matter? All of a sudden, if, I, if, I, if I'm wearing this and I feel confident, rest is completely relevant, completely relevant. So if you feel that a pointy collar like this or a rounded collar, like on my other shirt, I'll show you. That's another uh, men's finest uh, sort of made to measure shirt, right? So that's men's finest made to measure shirt. And you can see rounded collar. Like if you prefer rounded collar, try it, go for it. You know, buy one from us, buy one from another guys who sell made to measure shirts and just try it for yourself. You know, it's $150 or it's 100 quid, you know, you should be. You know, if you cannot afford this, don't buy the cheap stuff from Next or even uh, Turnbull Nasser and places like that. Go and invest in made to measure shirt. It's going to make difference. It's all about the fit and the fabric and how well it's designed and how how breathable that is, rather than what type of collar do you wear. You know what I'm saying? Right. Who else? Who else? Um, yeah, Keaton is doing, yes, yeah, the shirts at Ties. I know they're from Ties. I know they're doing shirts, but I thought they started doing like casual wear as well, right? So I don't know about that. They obviously, you know, if they've got brand equity, they're going to have loyal customers, no doubt. So they're going to sell some. El Bizarro is asking, what's the fabric for a tie? This, uh, this one is from Bergamo region in Italy. So it's obviously 100% silk. But if you look at this particular one. I'll, I'll send you better pictures. I think we've got it on the website. Hold on. Let me just show you. Uh, can I? Oh, maybe I can do this. I wonder. Can I do this? Um, let me just let me just check. Let me just check. Right. Uh, I was wondering if I can open Google Hangouts. Right. Okay. So I'm Google Hangouts now. If I share my screen, entire screen, application can i share application we will hangouts right okay right okay so you should be able to see my website right now so if you look at the website you can actually see the italian silk tie so uh, this is from bergamo region look at the details on this tie i don't know that you can see this properly um, but there are like little tiny like a gold stitching, those flowers, everything is kind of stitched here um, <laughs> to, to kind of give you that excellent uh, feel and look that you won't be able to see from, from anyone else. And that's, that's everything we do is always like that. So we're trying to make uh, you know, all those flowers um, handmade and perfect um, so we can actually... Um, Sort of enjoy the little details because I think it's yes, we're back because I think it's um, it, it all matters. Everything is in the detail for me, you know. So, so I have that um, message retracted, right? Yes, the best shirt I I have is of Finnamore one nine one nine two five. You like it? It sounds good. I like the name. I don't know the shirts. <clears throat> the shirts, again, it's fabric. It's how thick or thin it is. Uh, also, um, the extra bits, like your monograms or the types of color. I mean, uh, types of cuffs. Look at that. That's a types of cuff. That's a double cuff <clears throat> that has actually have got buttons instead of cufflinks. But it's like a double cuff, right? You don't see that normally on on ready to wear shirts. Also, the AMF stitching, we won't be able to see that, but there's like little detail in AMF stitching five millimeter apart, looking amazing. Like these little things make your your shirt, you whatever you're using, awesome. So just bear that in mind. These what matters. Brand, yeah, also. But most important things are those little extra bits. What's the best fabric for a tie? I like silk. I like wool. Um, depends on the weather. 
Um, knitted ties are also okay, but there's lots of knit ties cheap from China, uh, which obviously slightly degrade the um, the vibe of uh, knitted tie. Love the shirts, very 80s. Yes, Spencer's saying Spencer round color shirt is very 1960. Yeah, but why not? Like I was talking to someone about um, the double breasted suit, massive lapels, kind of loose everywhere. So not that kind of slim fit that you see in a lot. And uh, they asked me, well, what do you think? I was like, I, amazing. Like I, I love, I, I love anyone who is like styling, um, you know, their best. So they styling the shit out of them. I love that. Thanks for the advice. Have a great afternoon in the USA and evening in the UK. God bless. Spencer, thank you so much for joining. LMMFMO. This is brilliant. Thank you. Thank you for joining. Noah is saying from Netherlands, lovely YouTube. Uh, lovely YouTube. Thank you. Uh, Noah, are you you must if you're from Netherlands, you must be familiar with um Suit Supply, right? And you know that I absolutely love that brand. So I hope you buy in something from Suit Supply because they're amazing. Uh, hi, it's me, Fa Fabian. Oh my God, Blizzard TV changed to Fabian. Fabian, I haven't seen you for a while. Um, welcome back. Um, good. Wow, nice cuff. Yes, it's made to measure, so you can actually customize uh, a lot of things. El Bizarro is asking, when you're going to expand to other countries, is there a plan for that? Uh, what I'm doing right now is, is I'm, I'm the um, sort of, custom Clovis. So I go and seeing people personally. So I would um, sort of fly to Europe, other parts of Europe. I'd fly to America. I'd fly to Mexico. I'd fly to places where people want to have custom suits and shirts made. I would make that shirt for them and then I'll send it over to them. Um, it's a premium service, as you can imagine, because of course there's my time and flights and everything else included. But um, what you're going to get at the end of that is is a premium product and that's how you have to think about this now expansion means that i would have to have a lot of people around me most likely i'm going to have tailors in other parts of the world where they're going to be working for me and we're going to be still producing garments and ties and bow ties here in the uk um it's happening um where are you from should i fly to you to make you uh, garments let me know. You're welcome. Good. Guys, um, spot on. Thank you so much for watching. I don't know how long we've been here. Give uh, give us a like. Give us uh, some comments. Keep the conversation going about how to tie a tie. How do you tie your tie? Because I've shown you my way to tie it. And I think it's brilliant. It's the easiest way. You're going to be laughing going forward, seeing people looking for a mirror, trying to always, oh, oh, can you hold the iPhone for me? I need to do it. You're like, no, no, no. This is how Michael taught me to do it. You know, quickly over, boom, through, done. So I challenge you whether you can do it in less than 10 seconds. You will be. And you can just sort of practice, you know, sort of in front of TV as well. So you can sit in, watch your Netflix and going through, okay, yeah, that, that's good Netflix, yeah. Or even your mama is cooking your dinner and you like want to have a conversation. You're like, oh, I saw this live from Michael and he was showing me how to tie a tie and, and look at what can I do right now. And this tie has been just tied in like 10 seconds. Right, so you can just practice, keep on doing, keep on doing, keep on going, keep on doing. I think you get the point, lads. It's been a pleasure. Let me know in the comments below when I can help you, anyhow. Ciao.